Well, Wells Wilson, the director, uh, you know, sold the Porter speech to me by saying, it's the first, you know, it's a, it is a piece of stand-up and it's the first recorded knock-knock joke. It is a piece of stand-up in as much as it's some jokes that are addressed directly to the audience. She said she wanted it to feel like it was stand-up and to sort of update it so it covered the same themes, which is as the, as the original, but for, you know, 400 years later. I tried to hang on to the central part of the Porter speech and to the exact rhythms of it and transpose it across. There's obviously liberties that you probably can't take, but I think the clown bits, it just seems logical to me that they would have been more fluid. People are very um, purist about Shakespeare, and they should be, because obviously it's really good. But the, um, the comedy bits were obviously tailored to fit whichever comedian was doing it. And the jokes in the, in the Macbeth Porter speech are about a very specific period where French trousers were wider than English ones, or the other way around. It would definitely have been switched up, so it does make sense to do it. But what's great about this production is it's so surprising. That Wills has done so many interesting things in it, that when it just kind of stops from being like theatre mode and goes into stand-up, and then it just switches back, and no one cares because they've already seen loads of really mad things anyway <laughs> in this production, so it's actually, it's really all credit to her. But a re reason I wanted to do this was because um, uh, because of coming here with my mum, really. You know, I grew up about 20 miles that way from here, in Shirley, on the fringes of Birmingham. And um, when I was 11, 1979 or 12, my mum took me to see Othello here. I think she suddenly realised that we lived near this amazing place. But the play that blew my mind was the next one we saw, which was a Howard Davis production of um, Macbeth which, you know, I think is one of the reasons that I wanted to go into what I do. It seemed just so exciting in a way that I couldn't believe that it was, you know. Those five pound RSC productions and the bus journey here sort of were a, a really good part of my education. <laughs>